Hello everybody, I'm Mark 3 smle and today I have my 1944 produced Nagant revolver. This is the standard Soviet sidearm until the 1930s when it was supplanted by the Tokarev, but a lot of these were dragged into World War II and beyond, so I'm curious. This round, the 762 by 38 millimeter Nagant, is considered a really wimp round, but what will it do against ballistics gel? But before we do that, let's see how fast it's going. And these are surplus rounds. These are surplus, 1970 surplus. I spared no expense. Let's back up a little bit, get our 10 feet away. Nine ninety nine, nine sixty three, nine oh eight. That's a little weird. Of course, it probably depends batch to batch. I've had batches of these that go up to eleven hundred feet per second. So we're just gonna run with that. Run with those numbers. Let's take this guy, shoot some gel. I was just wondering, why do you think they did that? That little stupid grip piece, instead of just taking the metal all the way down. Freaking commies. <laughs> well, shoot it then. There we go. All right, we have a Nagat revolver, surplus ammo, okay? Now this thing isn't going very fast, and the bullet weight is only 108 grains, so we're not talking a lot of bullet weight. And a lot of people think this will bounce off clothing, and that it's absolutely worthless as a self-defense number and as a military caliber, but you gotta bear in mind the time period. You didn't need a revolver that reloaded in a hurry. This was seven shots of defense, and a mostly a badge of rank. Bear in mind that this round right here is more powerful than a lot of European pistol rounds that were carried by the French and the Austrians, so in a lot of ways the Nagant revolver is ahead of its time. So before Gavin too much, let's go ahead and shoot it. Got our delicious gel block, four layers of denim. I'm going to shoot point blank because this thing is only good for assassinating dissidents. Would help if it was under the hammer. Oh, that felt really hard. Yeah. Let's have a look. Again. See? Went right through both layers of denim. Easy. There's your wound track. That is not quite like our little 32 ACP track right there, but there's the bullet right there. I should have become a battlefield surgeon too. Nice. So, what is that inch wise? Let's look. Put it back where it was till the end. 20 inches. That is better than 32 ACP, better than 22 long rifle, and it's clearly on par with a lot of service cartridges that we have today. So, the 762 Nagant round is no joke. Not at all. There's denim too in the wound. Here, 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 here. Yeah, if the Russians were hippies, they'd be wearing denim, but most likely they'd be wearing wool or something like that. My guess where the myths around this round come from is yeah. people buying store-bought ammunition. Right, and I've, I've tested various store-bought Fiocchi ammunition, and we're talking 600 feet per second. I can show it on the chronograph data and everything. It's very 32 Smith & Wesson long, it's even weaker than that, actually. But this surplus stuff is no joke. Look at that. 